How to protect my direct report being unfairly blamed by a colleague from a different team. This situation is happening in Thailand and I and my team are also Thai, Chinese born here. I am a back-end engineer manager. My teammates under me are one front-end dev, Mr. Front-end, and one back-end dev. For some reason Mr. Front-end is relocated to another business unit, but I am still his direct manager. Problem. The team performance is not impressive because Mr. Front-end's business unit does not issue a proper direction. When we investigated why, we found Mr. Business Guy is the root cause. He is targeting Mr. Front-end and keeps blaming him. This situation happens again and again. I had raised this in the company conversation once, but it was not effective. He keeps coming this way. Frankly, I used to got this situation before. It doesn't affect me directly. HR also understands this case. They got blamed for no reason, too. We can't do that much since he has connections with the CEO. Evidences. Mr. Business Guy used to blame. Finance. That he was late. But after investigating which are the time-consuming tasks, the company found that root cause is him. He never pays attention to the company event training schedule and misses training. He then blames HR for no reason. He blames Mr. Frontend and keeps doing that although he knows that it is not his task at all. Question. How can I best protect Mr. Frontend from the actions of Mr. Business Guy? Mr. Business Guy is already digging his own grave, and it's entirely his own fault. Do not interrupt your enemy while he is making a mistake. You need to realize that. Mr. Business Guy is building a reputation of blaming others for his own problems. Dot. He is blaming HR for not going to training. He is blaming finance that he got late, and there is a paper trail saying he is lying. They are probably discontent as well. And we all know, HR is not your friend. Consequently, you want them to view you in a positive light for the company. That you're a good asset. Not going to training doesn't put you in a positive light. Blaming the people who need to view you as a positive asset for the company for your own failure is even worse. Don't go after him. You can only shoot yourself in your own foot. Instead, ensure that him blaming you for his own failures will only make himself, once again, look like a fool. Starting creating a paper trail. Record when he gives you tasks and directions, and exactly what those tasks and directions are. Record all that he wants from you and your colleague and when he asked for them. Then, if he starts blaming you again for this or that, you can point to earlier directions given by him. Edit, get Mr. Frontend to do the same thing for his own sake. It will be his own responsibility though. 